Welcome to Why Paint and Pastels. I'm Yvonne and I'm going to share some of my art adventures with you. I'm hoping to do art together, review materials, and explore technique. Please subscribe, ring the bell, and turn on notifications so you get all of our videos when they're uploaded. I thought I'd like to take this opportunity to share my smoking man drawing with you, tell you a little bit about myself, and my reintroduction into being creative. Hi again. I have found that I have tons of drawings and tons of pieces that have been started and not finished. So I think it's time to get down to work and finish some of these pieces that are in progress and take them to closure. Okay, so here's a drawing I never finished. And while sitting there, it got hurt. So let's get rid of the places where it got hurt. It's a study in contrast and building depth through layers of shading. Okay, I think we've taken care of that. So I had to go get a piece of tissue so I didn't keep putting my fingers on the paint. Most people think that erasers are only used to correct mistakes as opposed to using them as a tool for creation. Here, I'm using a thin mechanical eraser to add contrast to the smoke for additional dimension. I recommend no blowing or swiping at your erasure droppings. I use a soft sable brush to remove these from my work surface. This piece was done on 70 pound artist loft paper with an HP Royal Graphite pencil. The shading technique I'm deploying uses hundreds of strokes to build slowly. I'm using some delicate cross-hatching to address multi-vectored surfaces. The strokes of what you are shading needs to conform to the contours of what you're drawing. The thickness of muscle or adipose, such as in the cheeks, are what dictate the shading line's curvature.
Repeatedly adding layers, then removing some facets, allows me to build on the resonance of the previous layer. I tend to move all of the sections of the drawing forward at the same pace to achieve harmony between the sections and continuously identifying areas that look flat. When I think a section feels like it's just paper and not actually part of the subject, that is what I mean by flat. Moving around the paper can help identify these areas and deal with them. Building form through layers of shading is one of many techniques, but it happens to be one that I love. Share with us what you're studying or working on on your current drawing or painting. I've always loved doing art. At 20, I had to work really hard to get into the Corcoran School of Art. 
After years of dedicated training and producing contracted artwork, I ended up joining the corporate world for many years. Doing art at all faded from my life and only got deployed here and there. While we were out of the house and living in a hotel due to construction a couple of years ago, things other than the job started to have importance. Even with double the amount of work with two places to take care of, I began thinking of doing art again. Mental energies were redirected and the daily minutia of life's upkeep took a back seat to creative passions. So I decided to do a realism piece at the hotel and get myself reoriented. Trying to get back in touch with abilities I embodied 30 years past was the best decision I've made in a long time. Be patient with how your piece grows. Give it the time it wants and let it evolve. Okay, so now where are we? We fixed that terrible streak that got in there somehow. 
We fixed the lips, we fixed his upper lip, darkened the nostril, fixed down here. So, but this is wrong. This is his thumb. What was I doing? And so if this is the bottom of the thumb coming up like this, this is this joint right here, right? Of course, we can't get into exactly that position, but nonetheless, this is this muscle. This is a thumb pad. So all this is wrong, gotta be fixed. So let's don't go crazy. Let's build it out little by little. By keeping your lines light, major alterations are not only possible, but are easily done with the technique of adding and subtracting. Hard lines can prevent any alterations and not allow for dramatic changes when they're needed. I'd like to take this opportunity to share that KidSquid Studios processes and posts all my art at DeviantArt.
These pieces are viewable and purchasable at DeviantArt.com under Kid Squid Studios. Like I said before, keep visiting each area for continuity.
The drawing of the smoking man was never completed while we were at the hotel. I hope you've enjoyed taking this drawing to completion with me now that I'm back in my own home. With the help of Kids Glued Studios, there will be many more videos to come here at Y Paint and Pastels. So don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell. You can also subscribe to our other channels in the links below. And all the materials and tools used in this video are also in the links below.